passive speaker does not have an amplifier built in. Um, there are other uh, JBL or other manufacturer speakers who rather than having all of these um, controls on the back, uh, rather than having what's called built-in signal processing, which is like built-in EQ, uh, rather than having all that, you've just got a couple of terminals for hooking up a speaker connection. I've got a commercial speaker here. This is more of a pro audio speaker, but this is a passive speaker where basically you just have uh, inputs for wired connections coming from an amplifier. Passive or non-powered speakers don't have amplifiers built in. Active or powered speakers do. The pa passive speaker, whether it's commercial like this one or whether it's a pro audio speaker, I still have to have a mixer, an amplifier, although sometimes there's mixer and amplifiers in one, um, so I need some additional components. Passive speakers though, because of that, sometimes have a lower price point. Also, you can pair it with lots of different types of amplifiers. Um, say, for instance, you like a JBL speaker, but you want to use a Crown amp or a QSC amp or an Electrovoice amp or a Dynacord amp. Uh, you have that flexibility versus with a powered speaker, um, you have to use the amplifier that's built into it. What are passive speakers used for? Passive speakers, just like active speakers, can be used in any number of applications. Um, I've used both in house of worship, uh, educational environments like um, gymnasiums, uh, ball fields, um, things like that. Uh, it really comes down to a number of factors to determine whether a passive or an active speaker is more appropriate.